Now this is a video on why the poodle has a has a rough red saw on the neck. Now this this come this was due to the collar being used. The owner's collar, the owner's collar is probably quite tight. See the other side. See another picture. And uh, so so you should not use the owner's collar. We just use the the this uh, what they call it the tubing will do yeah? and should loosen it so is it loose mm. so always remember uh, don't go and change is it have a system uh, have a good system then we keep forgetting then the problem you see now is really rashes due to due to the dog scratching or so okay you see the wound after spaying uh, when was the space three days ago yeah Judy give me a ruler. Okay, now just, just uh, you sit down first. Huh? Sit down here. Huh? So we, we, I will just show how how the spray is done. Do you have a better ruler than this? No. You get a better ruler. No. A better ruler than this yeah, is very terrible. Huh? Get a good ruler rather than get a bad ruler to do a video. This is no good. Now I'll just show to anybody, any vets who are interested, how this uh, spay is done. Now to do the spay with the shortest incision, this is my method. Now from the umbilical cord, from the umbilical cord, uh, umbilical scar, umbilical scar here, umbilical scar. About one, about two centimeter. Okay, umbilical scar is here. The umbilical scar, two centimeter, two centimeter umbilical scar. You cut for a poodle. You cut the first incision, and then this incision you cut. This is the midline incision. You cut about one point five centimeter. Okay, one point five centimeter. So with this landmark, you know that. Uh, this area will be where you can pick up the ovaries. Ovaries are inside here actually. And the uterine horns. So you don't need to make a long incision. Because if, if, if you've got the wrong, wrong landmark, you cut too low. Let's say you cut here. Then you need to, you need to make a longer incision to get the ovaries because you're too far away from the ovaries. And if you pull too, too much, the over, ovarian ligaments will snap and then the ovaries will be inside which is no good when you're spraying the dog so roughly in summary should be two centimeter two centimeter from the umbilical scar two centimeter before you incise the skin about two centimeter you can see before you incise the skin Then you incise for about 1.5 centimeter. The incision about 1.5 centimeter, and you will be in the right spot to have such a small wound. Now this is a horizontal mattress suture, and we may need to put a plaster on. But you can see the wound is healing very well. There's there's the other method where you put subcuticular under the skin, uh, subcuticular suture. Some vets, some vets prefer that. Now you see the long scar is due to memory gland tumor here. And uh, overall this dog is... Is it eating? Yeah. Eating, I should be going home today. How old is the dog? Five. Five years old. You had a uh, quite a bit swelling here. It's probably the dog trying to rub at the spay wound. So uh, the dog is given painkillers and antibiotics and it goes home today. There is day three, right? Yeah, day three. Day three, you can see the wound should be like that. No infection, no swelling, no redness huh? at, at the operation site. Now I throw five stitches, but five knots, but one knot is loose. This is a horizontal mattress. One horizontal mattress suture, two zero poly sock absorbable suture is used for inside end skin okay finish it